I used to watch like Happy Days on like a Sunday morning with my gran, I remember that. And then there was a global video like right around the corner from my house. Um, and I used to just badge my gran to take me down there to, to get Police Academy. She was really obsessed with Police Academy. So she would um, kind of rent that time and time again. I think that she was just giving us it. We must have rented about 40 times. Hata, don't do that, Hata! If you don't stop, you are out of here! Mrs. I am warning you, Hata! My dad has a yard down in Govan. Um, he's a mechanic and he used to put all the Taggart trucks uh, for filming in there. And I would basically hang around his yard over the summer holidays and be like, what's going on, what's the camera, and kind of like follow them around. And eventually they let me kind of work as a runner. I was a terrible runner to begin with because I was like 15 and I couldn't drive and I couldn't make coffee. And I was meant to go and do like an engineering degree and kind of had like a proper job. Uh, but instead I was like, no, I'm going to be a runner. Uh, so I did that for a few years and then I did my degree here. At, well, I did my degree at the RCS um, and fell in love with screenwriting. And yeah, never looked back. Like the real moment where it all kind of came to a head for me was, you know, I was a runner for a couple of years and when I was on set in Penny Dreadful and I was working on it, I had a chair with my name on it and I was like, oh my God, this is like the complete opposite of a runner, you know, you're never allowed to sit down and I remember kind of sitting there and feeling a bit guilty as the runners moved my chair from place to place. I was like, I, I can do that, I can, I can get that. Um, so yeah, that was like where it really hit home that I'd kind of like, I'd done something. I got, I got to the next level. Where is everybody? Ain't nobody. Bloody fog, mate. I like that you can just kind of boundlessly imagine things and, and put them down and just hope for the best. And I really liked that I could do it in my pyjamas. Um, <laughs> and I didn't have to get up before like nine. Because uh, like as a runner, it's horrendous. You're, you know, you're half five up on film sets. You don't leave till seven at night. You've like no, no social life. And uh, screenwriting is the exact opposite of that. <laughs>